Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, here we are. We're just flying around Kerb, and between the episodes, I got us to start our descent. I ejected the fuel tank and the engine, and we are now going to land somewhere over there. I also upgraded the mission control, so we can do EVAs. So, while we're here, let's do a quick EVA report. Keep data, and then board. Board anyway, dump experiment, cool. Okay then. So, now we're going to come down somewhere over Kerbin. There's SAS, pointing the wrong way. And we want to keep our heat shield sort of centred on that sort of velocity marker on the nav ball so it can absorb all of the heat as we're coming in and the remainder of the vessel is relatively well protected. So I think if I just accelerate it, the game will slow down once we dip, there we go, below 70 kilometres above the planet. And we should be good. I've also accepted another contract to test the radial parachutes. So the prerequisites for that is to be within uh, above a thousand and below ten thousand meters and to be below uh, a one thousand one hundred meters se a second but above two hundred so we will see about that I'll keep those marked but we've got to just survive re-entry for starters we should be okay though as long as we can keep ourselves on that marker, then the heat shield should do the job for us. I mean, we've done a few now as it is, but it's done, it can still be a bit hair-raising as the craft judders. There we go, touchdown safely. So, right now, we've got quite a few of these basic missions to complete. Mm -hmm. And the ones that I'm interested in are going to give us the science. However, I think we'd be best suited if we were to fly a mission to the North Pole of Kerbin. Because that's an area that we haven't explored yet. But then again, there's also those mountains over there. Tell you what, I'm going to send a Cessna over there and then we're going to go to the North Pole. And we're going to use those as perfect opportunities to get more science. But now that we've got some upgrades, we can make some modifications to the Space Cessna so it uses fewer parts and it's less unstable in flight. Turn those engines up, everybody. There we go, airborne. Very nice. Just gotta turn us around and go to the mountains. Bring us in gently and get some science. Well, this ridge here looks uh, as good a place as any to try and put ourselves down. Coming in nice and slow at about 54 meters a second. I'm going to have to pull up quick. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, well. We can try that again and we'll go again during the day. That was um, embarrassing. Alrighty then, now that it's daytime, let's take two. Give her the beans going down the runway. Samantha. I tell you though, this thing accelerates like uh, you wouldn't believe given it's just a little plane. Look at that, already nearly at 200 meters a second by the end of the runway. It's actually really effective at what it does. There we go, we are now on our flight path to the Kerbal Mountains. Brilliant. That was textbook landing on the side of a mountain. 
Oh, man. Okay, let's do an observe of the materials. Seven and a half science. Breaks, breaks, breaks! Observe the goo. You observe the goo. And... I'll turn, I'll turn the engines up to get us some braking force. There we go. Stopped. And log temperature. Temperature readings are quite literally nominal. Okay. And EVA. EVA report. This is a most precarious situation. Well, that was quite useful. Flying over Kerbin's mountains added. Excellent. Okay, then. Recover vessel. Okay. Let's give it a shot. We want to try and get this thing north if possible. And that should be doable. In theory. It's working a little bit. We are pulling north. And there go the solid rocket boosters exploding. Come on, keep us pulling that direction. Give us our velocity. I've just realised we can't complete that task. So if we separate while we're in orbit with the Rocco Max, then we lose our ability to re-enter. So I'm going to have to put a second stage between these two fuel tanks, or is it a third stage? Either way, we're not completing that mission today, unfortunately. This should manage it for us. In theory, anyway. Come on. North Pole, we can do it! The Kerbals can see if their version of Santa really does exist. Never actually been this far north on Kerbin before, so this will be an interesting experience, regardless. We should just have the fuel to do it as well. There we go. North Pole achieved. We might as well ditch it, because it's got no use to us now. It means nothing. Maybe being cold up here mean that we just cool off pretty much instantly once we land. Anyways. Whoa, what was what was that? That did not sound healthy. Unless that was something below us blowing up. Yeah, oh, it was that blowing up. Never mind. That's fine by me, as long as it isn't us. Cool. Well, we're down. It's literally cool. Let's observe those materials. 7.5 science. The water sample is frozen solid and the goopy samples appear to be extra goopy. That'll be very useful to keep. Let's open the bay and observe the goo. Let's do another Observe the Mystery Goo. You know what they say, an experiment's more valuable if it can be repeated. And then we'll log the temperature just to make sure that there wasn't an issue with the first one. And then... Crew report. That's worth one and a half. And dare I say... I want to do an EVA, but I wonder if falling out will kill her. Uh, no, that didn't kill her. EVA report. It wasn't necessary, no, but 
never mind. We made it. And that is probably where we're going to end today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye bye.